Hi, my name is Chris and this is Battle Nonsense. In Battlefield 1 we finally got the dedicated medic class back. However, its teamwork aspect has a few problems which I want to talk about in this video and provide a few ideas that might fix these issues. But first of all, how does this medic class work in the closed alpha? As a medic you have bandages which you can use to heal your teammates and a syringe which you can use to revive teammates. When you get close to a teammate who took damage then you will see this notification here which tells you that you can press the Q key to throw bandages. But you can of course also still press the gadget key to throw some down on the ground. Hardline's mechanic where teammates can take bandages from a medic is not present in Battlefield 1. When one of his teammates dies then this icon here will tell him how much time he is left for the revive. The syringe does not use the charge function that the Battlefield 4 defibrillator has, so it's not like you have to pull more adrenaline into it by holding down the left mouse button. A revived player will always come back at 100% health, while an enemy player will die instantly when you use the syringe on him. Now let's take a look at the perspective of the player who is in need of a revive. This element tells you if there is a medic or medics near you, which is very useful because if there is none then there is no chance that you will get revived. Then we have the to deploy element which has two different functions. Number one, the progress bar tells you how much time the medics have left to revive you. And number two is that when you press and hold the space bar then you can speed up the revive countdown in order to get back to the deploy screen quicker instead of waiting for a revive. The element right next to it tells you to press Q to request a revive. This then changes the icon above your dead body which should help to catch the attention of a nearby medic. This element is actually a bit misleading because it looks like you had to press the request revive button to even allow a medic to revive you. But that's not the case. Medics can revive you even if you did not press the request revive button. This button only changes the icon above your head. So now that you know how the medic class works it's time to have a look at its teamwork problems. First of all what is the teamwork aspect of the medic? It's to heal and revive his team members using the tools he has at his disposal. So with that in mind it makes no sense that Battlefield 1 still uses auto heal as that defeats the purpose of a dedicated medic class. Auto heal should simply be removed from the game. But if DICE is not ready yet to also let go of auto heal after they have not included auto repair in Battlefield 1 then I would suggest to at least limit the effectiveness of auto heal. You could do that in many different ways like that auto heal will only heal you back up to 50% or that it will only heal you as long as you don't go below 50% health. If auto heal has to stay then I would prefer that it has a limited amount of health points that it can restore per spawn. So let's say that auto heal can restore 30 health points per spawn and you take 20 damage. Then auto heal will bring you back to 100% health. When you then take 20 damage again then it can only heal you back up to 90% health because you then consumed the 30 health points that you can get back from auto heal for this spawn. So I would prefer to see DICE remove auto heal from Battlefield 1 in order to allow the medic to fulfill its purpose. But if they are not ready yet to remove auto heal again from Battlefield then they should at least consider to limit the effectiveness of auto heal in order to keep the medic useful. Now as I said before it's not possible to take bandages from a medic like you can in Battlefield Hardline. And honestly I don't have a problem with that because in my opinion it's the job of the player to do what the medic is supposed to do and it's even easier in Battlefield 1 now to throw bandages as you just have to press the Q key. However if DICE decides to add this feature to Battlefield 1 then they should not allow the medic to get points when someone takes bandages from him as he must not be rewarded for ignoring his team members who need his help. Now let's take a look at the notifications of the revive mechanic. The icon that medics see above the dead player is quite clear and works fine. But when the player decides to request a revive then this does not trigger an entry in the text feed neither is there a callout or voiceover that tries to get the attention of the medic. I know that the player is supposed to be dead and it seems silly that he would call for a medic. However we are still talking about a video game here and the whole idea of reviving the player is silly. So that callout should really not be a problem when it helps to get medics to revive their teammates. When we then look at the perspective of the player who needs a revive then the element which shows it a nearby medic or medics could need some tweaks because right now it's not really encouraging players to request and wait for a revive. Now how about the actual revive mechanic? In the closed alpha it looks like most players instantly press the spacebar after they died in order to get back to the deploy screen as fast as possible which gives medics next to no time to revive them. 
On the other hand, I've been waiting to get revived when there were two medics less than 5 meters away, and not one of them could be bothered to revive me. So why is that and what can we do against it? The problems with the UI and the notifications which I talked before are factors that contribute to the problem, so fixing these will already help a bit. However, the biggest issue appears to be that many players feel that going back to the deploy screen is the fastest and most efficient way to get back into the game, and that's why they don't even bother to wait for a medic to revive them, which is a serious issue. I think that if you decide to not allow medics to revive you, then you should get a respawn penalty of an additional 5 seconds. And maybe the respawn delay should be increased in general, because it should hurt when you have to respawn again. The game should tell the player that he should be more careful and put his digital life to good use. It should not encourage players to go back to the deploy screen, it has to do the complete opposite. This is one of the aspects where the Battlefield franchise has become way too casual in the past few years. It simply does not hurt anymore when you die because of how fast you can spawn right back into the action. And that has a negative impact on the overall gameplay. But the fundamental issue that I have with the revive mechanic is that every player can be revived until he decides to opt out by pressing and holding the spacebar. That process of getting out of the revive mechanic where you speed up the countdown is not only very confusing for the medic but also discouraging, especially when you have to deal with players who press the Q button to request the revive just to then press and hold the spacebar to speed up the revive countdown while you are on your way to revive them. But it's not just bad for the medics, it's also not good for the player who died because you don't opt out instantly. Which means that when a medic is close and quick enough then he can still revive you even if you don't want to get revived. I think that neither the medic nor the player who died is really happy with the current opt out design. Which is why I want to propose a different approach to the revive mechanic, which should be pretty easy to add to the game even at this late point in its development process. So just to avoid any misunderstanding. What you are about to see here is a design concept I made. All the buttons and the UI elements are completely fake. The purpose of this concept is to explain the mechanic and not to provide a ready to use template. So please keep that in mind if you want to criticize the visual appearance or labels of the UI elements I made for this concept. Alright, so first of all, right after you die you are in a state where you cannot get revived. This avoids that a nearby medic can revive you even if you don't want to get revived. If there is no medic around you, then it makes no sense to call for one, which is why there is no request revive element. So if you want to go back to the deploy screen, then simply press the spacebar. So again, right after you die you are in a state where a medic cannot revive you. If there was at least one medic within a 20 meter radius at the moment you died, then you will see him or them listed here. You will also notice that there is a request revive element now, which has a progress bar inside. Once the progress bar fills up completely, the game puts you into a state where you can get revived. This means that medics then get the icon above your head with the revive countdown, they get an entry in the text feed and hear the callout. Instead of waiting for the progress bar to fill up completely, you can also press the Q button to immediately enter the state where you can be revived. If you don't want to allow nearby medics to revive you, then you just have to press the spacebar before the progress bar reaches the end. After that you can press the spacebar again to go back to the deploy screen. So this design allows the medic to know exactly how much time he has to get to the downed teammate as the countdown won't suddenly speed up. He also knows that this player actually wants to get revived, which should increase the incentive for him to go to him and revive him. At the same time, this design allows players to protect themselves against unwanted revives, as you can only get revived when you actually want to. I think that this mechanic would be a win for everyone, but more interesting is what you think. So please post a comment and let me know, or share your ideas on how to make the medic class better. So Battlefield 1 will release in just a few months, which is why I limited my feedback to suggestions that actually have a chance to make it into the game. But what if we had January and not July? In that case I would suggest a completely different approach to the downed player mechanic, one that you might have seen in other games already. The idea here is that when you get shot in the head or blown into pieces, then you are dead and have to go back to the deploy screen. But when you get shot enough times or take enough fall damage to run out of health, then you are not dead but critically wounded and bleeding out. 
When the medic then gets to you, then he can press and hold the E key, which triggers an animation where he puts some bandages on you. How much he heals you and how many points the medic gets depends on how long he holds down the E key. That should also explain why I would use that approach of pressing and holding the E key. It's to avoid the problem that we have seen in Battlefield 4 where you would charge up your defibrillator and someone else would just quick zap your downed teammate with a useless 20% health revive. If you want to give the downed player something to do while he is waiting for the medic to get to him and maybe even extend the time that the medic has to reach him, then you could allow that player to slow down the bleeding by repeatedly pressing a button. I would then even give the player points for trying to stay in the game and giving the medics a better chance to reach him. So that's something that I would have loved to see in Battlefield 1, but so far in the development process it's sadly too late for such a big change. Yet I thought that I should still share this idea with you guys. So let me know what you think about my feedback and if you enjoyed this video then please give it a like, subscribe for more and I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a nice day and take care. My name is Chris and this was Battle Nonsense.